Hello, I'm Doug Llewellyn and welcome to Close Up on America's Business. Today, a look at a unique organization that is devoted to helping homeowners who are facing the terrible prospect of losing their homes through foreclosure. You know, you would have to go all the way back to the days of the Great Depression to find a housing and debt crisis that is even close to the scary and confusing situation that is facing millions of Americans today. Many people are facing foreclosure, and the vast majority of them are totally unaware of or thoroughly confused by the legal options that are readily available to them. In addition, along with this crisis, we are seeing opportunistic scam artists looking to cash in on the misery of homeowners uncertain of what they can and should do to save their homes. The prospect of losing their home, the sheer enormity of being forced out, makes homeowners vulnerable targets. But now, there is good news for the millions of homeowners still searching for answers, solutions, and a reliable source to advise them, and more importantly, protect them. Welcome to LegalHotline.com. That's right, legal, L-E-G-A-L, because it's supported by a national network of independent lawyers who are focused on working with homeowners whose goal is to stay in their home. Let's take a deeper look inside. In February of 2012, the nation's five largest mortgage servicers agreed to a landmark $25 billion settlement with a coalition of 49 state attorneys general and federal agencies. It's the largest joint federal state settlement in history, $25 billion. The settlement addressed mortgage loan servicing and foreclosure abuse, as well as fraud by making available substantial financial relief to homeowners who had been harmed by the questionable practice of lenders. Now, while this settlement obviously couldn't solve every problem within the housing market, it's gone a long way toward providing financial assistance for homeowners right now. In fact, some homeowners who were facing foreclosure have actually had their mortgages disqualified and satisfied in full, while many others have received other substantial benefits because of the settlement. I'm joined today by attorney Gennady Litvin, whose firm has served thousands of struggling homeowners and who says those who are facing foreclosure do have hope. You know, I understand there are some people facing foreclosure that after an investigation has been made have ended up owning their house outright. They have no mortgage anymore and they're free and clear. Is that really possible? Absolutely. The banks were being accused of misconduct. The three major points that the banks were being accused of was forgery, predatory lending, and robo-signing. What happens is, because that settlement came out in a form to help homeowners, most homeowners will not actually realize that they don't owe anything else on their mortgage. But we have seen instances where mortgages have been satisfied in full. That means that some of the people that we have seen no longer owe mortgages for their home. And that's also as a result of that $25 billion settlement. Call the attorneys that work with Legal Hotline. They will pick up the call and they will evaluate your entire situation to see if you were one of those people. Well, foreclosures is one of the scariest things that a homeowner can face. If after three months of not making your payment, you receive a document or a court document, you've got to be able to respond to it. That's where the foreclosure process begins. And there are options out there for somebody that is behind or about to fall behind on their mortgage. Well, that's good. I'm glad there's hope. Let's begin by getting an understanding of what this process is all about. Explain the options to me. The options range from foreclosure defense, loan modification, short sale, deed in lieu of foreclosure, or even a bankruptcy. All right, well, let's go through these various options. Number one, there is foreclosure defense. That sounds pretty obvious, but what's it all about? The defense of foreclosure is exactly what it sounds like. There's an attorney that's going to be assigned to your file, that's going to be standing next to you in court, across from the attorneys that are being paid by the banks to take your home from you. The attorney's illegal hotline will make sure that your rights are being properly represented and you don't feel alone in the court system. People bury their head under their rug. People do not want to see and face the fact that they are in danger of losing their house. When you're in foreclosure, time is your worst enemy. If you have received any documents at your house or at work or anywhere else that have a court logo on there and it has to do with your home, 
you've got to pick up the phone and call the attorneys of legal hotline. They're going to be the ones to evaluate the situation and to make sure the proper response is provided to the courts within a timely manner. The next option I understand is loan modification. Explain that for me. A loan modification is one of the best options out there. That's when the existing terms of your loan are changed to make sure that you and your family can afford to pay for the home that you live in. The bank will evaluate your entire financial situation to determine what that mortgage payment should be. But the most critical part is how that financial situation is presented to the bank. Well, statistics actually show that most modifications are not successful and fail. Banks are helping homeowners such as yourselves. But if you don't present the option and you don't present the financial situation properly, they will deny you. Most people are doing it themselves. Don't do it yourself. You need help. Whether you get help from a not-for-profit, whether you get help from professionals, such as the attorneys that work with Legal Hotline, you need assistance. Pick up the phone. Call the attorneys at Legal Hotline. And then finally, of course, there's bankruptcy. Is that advisable? Bankruptcy is always an option. Homeowners most of the time think that if they own a home, that they're going to lose that home if they file for bankruptcy. That's just not true. The two different types of bankruptcy, Chapter 7 and Chapter 13, can actually mean that you get to keep your home. All right, so explain the difference. What is Chapter 7? Chapter 7 bankruptcy is a complete liquidation of all your debts. Now, that doesn't mean that your home has to be liquidated with your debts. You can actually remain in your home, have your debts liquidated, and attempt to work out an agreement with the bank on the side. And then there's Chapter 13. What happens in that process? Chapter 13 is a restructure of your debts. A trustee is appointed to the Chapter 13 bankruptcy case. His role or her role is going to be to make sure that they come to a payment plan where a portion of your debt is going to be paid off in a matter of five to seven years. At the same time, you could be making mortgage payments to your bank as well as paying off the amounts that you're behind on as part of the Chapter 13 bankruptcy plan. So bankruptcy is a viable option as well. Next we come to short sale. That sounds like an interesting process. What is it? A short sale is what they call when you sell your home for less than what you owe to the bank. And the bank is willing to take that amount because the market isn't what it used to be. But the most important part is that you will not owe the bank any more money once the property is sold. And that's why it's a win-win situation for someone such as a homeowner that can't receive a modification. If the bank and the buyers of the property can't come to terms on the short sale, the next step in the process is going to be a deed in lieu of foreclosure. And essentially that's when you hand over the keys to the bank and the bank is going to say, you know what, we will take this property back we will forgive the amount that you may have still owed us and you can move on with your life. The reason why that's important, Doug, is because again, you do not remain indebted to the bank after you're out the house. You have options and these options are going to be presented to you by the attorneys at Legal Hotline. Finally, we come to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. That sounds very complicated, but how does that apply here? One of the biggest problems for homeowners that are behind on their mortgage is the fact that now they're being pursued and collected for these mortgage payments. Debt collection agencies and collection attorneys are governed by what's called the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, or in short, the FDCPA. Many times they use antics that are just plain illegal. The attorneys at Legal Hotline, they know what to look for. If you receive a call, and if you receive a collection letter, pick up the phone and an attorney at Legal Hotline will let you know if there's a violation of law or not. The phone calls can be stopped. The mailings can be stopped. There can actually be even monetary rewards per violation that the attorneys at Legal Hotline find, up to $1,000. Don't just stand by. Pick up the phone. Give the attorneys at Legal Hotline a call. We'll figure out if they're breaking the law or not. The attorneys that work with Legal Hotline have represented thousands of homeowners across the country to help save their homes and keep their families inside their houses. They do this on a day-to-day -day basis. 
they know what to look for. They evaluate all documents. And if there's an issue, and if there's a problem with your documents and mortgage, they're the ones that are going to find it. You will not be charged any large upfront retainer fee. And remember, time is not your friend. Time is your enemy when it comes to foreclosures. Pick up the phone, call the attorneys that work with Legal Hotline. So that's the story of LegalHotline.com, a national network of attorneys specializing in helping homeowners whose goal is to stay in their homes. If you or someone you know is facing foreclosure, tell them about LegalHotline.com. It's a call that could very well change their lives. For Close Up on America's Business, I'm Doug Llewellyn reporting from New York. Uh -huh.